This is Twit. Bill in Emerson, Arkansas. Hi, Bill. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Leo, so great to finally talk to you. Listen, I heard several radio operators call in yesterday, so I'll continue the trend today. This is WB5FKG. WB5FKG. Well, I'm going to have to send you a uh, QSL card from W6TWT. Sounds good. Yeah, it's good to talk to you. There's, You know, uh, people probably don't realize that hams are the original geeks. Absolutely, yes. All of this stuff, so. you know, the packet radio, everything, hams invented it. Yep, yep, sure did. And listen, I got a situation here. I'm in very rural South Arkansas, and Internet access on DSL is not available. I really had only two options, satellite or uh, cellular service. Yeah. Wound up going the Verizon MiFi route. Yeah. The thing worked amazingly well, uh, and it, and it <clears throat> had it, got it early 2012, I think. And for the first, I got a five-gig plan for 50 bucks a month. We'd go over a little bit every so often, but then earlier this year, data usage started to explode. Uh oh. And I, two reasons I was, is my best guess. One is a, a new Verizon tower went in about seven miles from here that helped the uh, speed go up tremendously. <laughs> yeah, and higher speed often encourages uh, more use. Absolutely. Yeah. And it, it does. The other thing that happened about the same time, though, is all these videos on Facebook and whatever. All, yeah, all and they auto-play now, don't they? Yes, they do, yeah. and it's driving me nuts. And yesterday morning, I got online on Facebook, and all these doggone ALS Ice Bucket Challenge videos were rolling one after another after another as I was scrolling down. I think it's time. So I thought, it's time to call Leo. What can I do about Oh, this? I know. I hate this. This was a change that Facebook made fairly uh, recently, and I think you've come up with a very compelling reason why they shouldn't have done it. It is using bandwidth. You may not even want to start, you may not even want to see those videos, but you don't have, you know, you, you, it's like, no, sorry, we're going to play them. Exactly. I went up to about from roughly five gig. In fact, we started off, we'd use about three and a half, uh, but uh, it's... it's. Do you think that's like the main reason? That's interesting. Well, it's got to be one of the reasons. I don't know what, I don't think our our usage or habits. It's a bad, it's a, it's considered bad form to play video and, you know, autoplay anything like that. Auto, it's right. worse to autoplay audio. At least they keep the audio uh, turned off. It's just considered yeah. bad form for a variety of reasons. It's annoying if you're in an office all of a sudden, you know, all this loud, noisy video is playing. It's just bad. And uh, our, our usage has exploded into like 15 to 18 gig now. Well, the, so it's the good news is you can turn it off. Now, the, the funny thing about Facebook is the settings are non, you know, there's so many of them. There's yeah. millions of them that it's hard to find the setting, right? Right. So uh, there is a autoplay video setting within Facebook that you can change. Great. So what you're going to do is click in the upper right-hand corner. You're gonna, probably easiest to do this on a computer. Uh, not mobile. Yeah, we'll, yeah it's, and, it's both, uh, lab, both my wife and I have a Windows 7 laptop. Yeah, so and when you go to the more settings, because they don't really want you to go in there, so they they show you some settings, and then you got to go to more. If you look at the bottom, there's a videos setting, and there's really only one checkbox, autoplay on, autoplay off. Okay. Now, this <laughs> this setting only applies when you use Facebook on your computer, so... You've got to change the video. See, they're just, I, I am starting to loathe Facebook. <laughs> this should be a global setting, right? But no, you've got to go to each ver each application of Facebook and turn it off. <laughs> Can you believe that? They just, you know, it's so obvious. And I think this really breaks the um, the social agreement that you have with a company. Yeah. Very yeah. obvious. They're just trying to trick you into doing all this stuff. And they and they and then if you say oh but I don't want it they go oh 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 okay well well from 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 a marketing standpoint I understand it completely it compels you are compelled to actually watch some of this that you otherwise would not watch but at the same time it it's costing a lot of people I'm not the only one surely in this boat it's got to be costing a lot of people a lot of money yeah you know everybody who's who's paying by the bit ought to turn that off I agree. Uh, do you stream audio uh, or or video? I mean, are you watching Netflix? Because one thing that happens with a uh, faster speed is that Netflix will use more. Because what happens is Netflix 
changes how much data it downloads depending on your speed. If the right. speed is slow, it's gonna it's gonna it's just gonna say, well, you're not gonna get a great picture. I'm just gonna download less. But as soon as the speed speeds up. Netflix and others will do this too. Say, "Oh, good, he can he can watch high quality video. Let's yeah. th let's throw him a gigabyte a, an hour, and suddenly it's very very expensive." So that is one consequence to having higher speeds. Partly, it's you want to use more because it's easier. You can right. surf faster. You can just everything happens faster. But partly, it's that some of these streaming services will actually pump more more literally pump more bandwidth per second down because you can because they can. Send the bill to Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Hey, Mark, <laughs> it really surprised me when they changed this setting to autoplay videos. And the conventional wisdom is that this doesn't have anything to do with ALS Ice Bucket Challenge videos. It has everything to do with ads. Because advertisers, and I don't know if they've started selling these ad units on, uh, on Facebook, but advertisers would love to play a video for you as you're scrolling through your Facebook feed. Uh, and so until they enable the, so I think what happened is Facebook said, okay, first we're going to turn it on for your, your friends' videos. And then after you get used to that, then we're going to start selling advertising. So all of a sudden you're going to see a Pepsi commercial right in the middle of your Facebook feed. And it's going to be loud and it's going to play. I think that's where they're going with this. It's, uh, it's a chance for them to make more money. And you're very understanding, Bill. You say, well, I understand they need to make money. That's very understanding of you. Most people just go, Rrr! <laughs> I don't, uh, but they do need to, they do need to monetize. Um, but I also think they have a social contract with us not to push it too far. Don't you think?